Hi, David Rosenberg here for the Psychopharmacology Institute. In this CAP Smart Take, we'll take a close look at what the long-term impact is on children of mothers who continue to use ADHD medications during pregnancy compared to children of mothers who discontinue their ADHD medications during pregnancy. This is especially clinically relevant as ADHD medications are increasingly being used during pregnancy, so it's important to better elucidate the risks benefits of doing so in terms of risk to and the impact on neurodevelopment and growth. In this rather remarkable study from the Danish National Registry, including over 1 million live-born babies from 1998 to 2015, who were followed until they were assigned any developmental diagnosis until death, emigration, or December 31st, 2018. They compared nearly 900 children of mothers who continued using ADHD medications during pregnancy to 1,270 children of mothers who discontinued using ADHD medications during pregnancy. The ADHD medications used during pregnancy included methylphenidate, amphetamine, dexamphetamine, lisdexamphetamine, modafinil, atomoxetine, and clonidine. So what did they find? Overall, the findings were very reassuring for women with ADHD who consider their ADHD medication essential during pregnancy. Specifically, there was no increased risk of any developmental disorders such as ADHD, autism spectrum disorder in children of mothers who continued using ADHD medication during pregnancy versus children of mothers who discontinued using their ADHD medication during pregnancy. Neurodevelopment and growth in children of mothers who continued using ADHD medication during pregnancy did not differ from children of mothers who discontinued their ADHD medication during pregnancy. Since we know that decreased appetite, insomnia, and growth impairment has been reported with stimulant medication for patients with ADHD, it's certainly very reassuring that use of stimulants during pregnancy did not appear to have long-term adverse impact on these parameters. Since stimulant toxicity has also been associated with seizures, although that doesn't appear to occur when stimulants are prescribed at clinically appropriate doses, it was therefore reasonable to question whether the developing brain might be more susceptible to risk for seizures or other neurotoxicity, but reassuringly, this doesn't appear to be the case. The study also found that mothers with ADHD, regardless of whether or not they continue to use ADHD medication during pregnancy, were younger at childbirth, more likely to smoke during pregnancy, and to have children born prematurely or with low birth weight. Again, this is independent of whether or not ADHD medication was used during pregnancy or discontinued. This is consistent with what we know about ADHD in general, not just in pregnancy, specifically that smoking is much higher in patients with ADHD than in the general population. In fact, there is data suggesting that nicotinic agents can be beneficial in some patients with ADHD, at least for the ADHD symptoms. So what's the bottom line? This is an excellent study, but the findings should not be interpreted to say that there is no risk during pregnancy and that all women should continue ADHD medications during pregnancy. This data isn't able to define risk or lack thereof for an individual patient, and further study is needed, particularly with regard to comorbidity, dosing of medications, combination of medications. So at least in a group analysis, we can say that there doesn't appear overall in the group to be in an increased risk in pregnant women who continue their ADHD medication versus pregnant women who don't continue their ADHD medicine. But that doesn't mean on an individual level that we can say that there's never any risk. And we know that pregnancy is a critical time period, and therefore we want to make sure that we do this carefully when we treat medicine, continue medicine. It's not something that should be taken lightly at all. The data, though, here 
given the risks of untreated ADHD on work, personal, psychological, social functioning, higher risk of substance abuse, motor vehicle accidents, destructive impulsive behavior is reassuring and suggests that for most patients who are pregnant with ADHD and who need to continue their ADHD medications, overall, this looks to be a safe and effective thing to do.